What's going on YouTube? One LA X-Ray, I'm here. So, what are we doing today? We're gonna tinker with the wife's bike. Yeah. No, we, um, the clutch had an issue this morning and I had to adjust the cable. And last night when I was cleaning both bikes up because we were gonna do a ride during the day, uh, I wanted to play with the exhaust and I wanna take the, I wanna take these covers off and under them are baffles. And those baffles, I kind of want to see if the sounds any better, is it any different? Um, because eventually we want to replace all this. But the silly thing about um, these full exhaust systems is they give you this downpipe, but they don't give you this one. So they'll give you a full titanium piece here, but this one will always be standard. So you almost need to find a company that'll do this one piece instead of the ones that everything else comes out or just these. So if we take the baffles off, it sounds cool. Maybe we'll leave it. Um, if it sound, makes no difference, I'm just gonna put them back on and that's gonna be it. So today's video is really just me taking it apart. Now, Due to those screws there, to make life easier on you, you, take this bottom one off first, gives you a clear shot straight up. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. It's the first time taking this off and I just noticed that there's two bolts under there. So we remove this guy and then get to these two screws that are back there. So as you can see, pretty easy. Couple screws on off, about three and a half, four minutes. If you're mildly capable and have a decent set of Allen keys. The only thing is you're gonna want shorter ones for those back bolts uh, because you run the risk if you don't get a good seat that you'll end up stripping those screws in the back. So let's keep that in mind when you go take those back ones off. All right, so now that the thing's off, I guess we should see how it sounds, huh? Let's try it out. Say that that's uh that sounds a good bit better it's got a nice deep sound too it's got a little crackle at the end so i don't know i guess we'll see what the lady thinks uh putting it back together would be just putting those pieces back on obviously the two screws that hold the back piece of that slip one's not gonna be there because there's nowhere to actually mount it uh all right so side note when you take them take everything off there's nothing to mount that to so I had to put the lower baffle back in to give that some rigidity so it wasn't flopping around when you go riding. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, so, like I said, I had to mess with the clutch on this. Um, I also had to bleed the front brakes. And then I also messed with the exhaust a little bit. I took the baffle out and just taking it around the block for a good little quick shakedown uh, to make sure that when the clutch feels good, there might be a little bit of distance, um, but It still feels fine. If 
Like sounds good. Got a couple pops in it. Let me back it out just a smidge just because it is it's pretty far out there. But uh that's kind of what you should do if any of you guys decide to work on a bike or your bike, a friend's bike or something, you really have got to test it out to make sure that there's no quirks in it. If you're the one doing the maintenance on it, you gotta be the one that actually checks it out. Uh so don't be one of those people that works on it. It's like, here you go, bud. I don't know, I still don't like the way this thing feels. I, uh... Sounds good, though. Might loosen just a smidge because just a smidge, just a hair, half a turn, nothing crazy. Oh man, so uh, I will say the exhaust sounds great, that's a little bit louder, not a ton, and the clutch feels great. So that concludes my setup.